Ahoy there, I'm Tiny Pirate. Welcome back to Scrap Mechanic. In front of me, you can see the completed Tumblr, the Bat Car. Uh, we will have a look at that at the end of the episode. I'm pretty proud of it. For now, we need to get on with thinking about building some kind of VTOL craft. And yeah, vertical takeoff and landing. And it's not going to be easy. Um, in fact, I think it's going to be quite difficult. Don't quite know how the, the plane systems work yet. But we'll give it a go. There isn't any kind of lift surfaces. There aren't any lift surfaces, so no wings. But we do have a lot of rockets. And if Kerbal Space Program has taught me anything, it is that a lot of rockets will solve most problems. So even numbers is good because it's an even numbered sized seat. I'll stick those in for now as kind of a landing part. Hmm, a seat of some kind on top. Yep. What am I saying? It was four wide, that'll do. So a seat is a good place to start. Now we will definitely need some kind of rocket. So I might no, not like that. Here we go. I'm thinking we'll put kind of rocket pods. Um, oh, where are we? Get that down. Kind of on the back here. I might leave some space for a controller. I suspect we will need one and where I don't want to go that way. Like that. Yeah, that looks neat. So we will want to put some kind of thrust on the back. Um, let me have a quick look. There's a whole bunch of parts here that are quite stylish, I've discovered. Won't need another one of those, so that can go there. One more on that side. And uh, let's have a look at how big this rocket is. Yeah, they are huge, aren't they? Hmm. There we go. One of those. A couple of those. This might not start off the most attractive uh, vehicle known to known to mankind, but it will get there in the end. Okay, come on, get up there. Get up there. Come on. Oh, do I have to put a box down or something? Come on. Oh, give me somewhere to stand. All right. <sighs> what a job. And... One more. Should be able to fit. Two rockets on the back. I think two rockets is probably enough. No, it's never enough. What am I saying? Three rockets. Three rockets is definitely enough. Um, I'm gonna I'm gonna connect them to. Yeah, that's gonna connect to there. They need to connect to a switch. Oh, not one of those switches. They need to connect to a toggle. So I'm going to put that toggle. I don't ever intend to press it myself. So we can kind of stick it there, I think. And now each one of these connects to the toggle. So we start by connecting the engines to the toggle. And then we connect the toggle to the chair. And that'll be button one. So button one will make it go forward, which is, which is grand. We do want it to go forward, don't we? Um, from there. What else do we want? Probably want to make it go up. So, but we want to be able to kind of toggle the the direction of the upwardness. So I'm thinking we'll need to attach. What are those like? Yeah, rotate apart. Let me have a squeeze at this. You, out of the way. If we attach four engines that are facing down, 
No, we're going to need to get a block in there first, at least. Um, oh, that's weird. I wonder why that's changed. Never mind. And a block. Oh, we need to get you to go up, don't we? Which makes me wonder if we shouldn't, in fact... There we go, get rid of those. Shouldn't, in fact, make this a bit higher. Hmm. Let's put this up a bit so that our engines... Oh, this one won't be able to get off the ground, though. Unless we attach it from back here. That could be kind of cool. Let's try that. I do like a game that enjoys letting me kind of just iterate a design. Sometimes I come up with designs, figure them all out in my head. Happy as Larry. But, you know, a lot of the time you just got to make it up as you go along, don't you? Yeah. Slim. Oh, how do we do that? What did I do? No. Yeah. Something like that. Good. Now, the turning element there. Do we really need? I think we are going to need that. Because otherwise I don't think it will be able to figure it out. Yeah, we'll do that. And uh, maybe we'll put a bit of stylish metal here just to keep it looking neat. Um, one like that. And... Can we make this go up a bit? No, what, what am I doing? No, not that part. One of those, and... Oh. I want to put it there. Okay, down. And then the bits of metal. So, I'd be really interested to see where they take this game, because I think the opportunity to do interesting things with sort of plain parts would be you know, really exciting. So I, I can't wait to see if we can get some lift surfaces in and propellers to, you know, charge them around the place. Okay, a sticky... Oh, no, 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 not the sticky out bit first. We want the... that part first. And then uh, probably... one of them. Is it going to go... It's not going to go up enough, is it? What am I doing? Gonna have to go up at least a little bit more. Let's build ourselves a little step. I actually think it would probably make sense for me to build like a little workshop space, have a big pit uh, with some stuff to climb on top of so I can get up here easily. Because unlike creative mode in Minecraft or what have you, you can't yet fly. At least not that I've been able to anyway. Flying would be very helpful about now. And it afford to be one lower. It would seem to make sense for sort of balance that we don't uh, put one set of engines higher than the other. So let's try um, up there. Yep. Like that. Ah, that worked. Cool. And that. There. And there, followed by one of those. And if we push this up, some kind of engine. Oh, it doesn't want to be there. It doesn't want to be there. That's okay then. Um, hmm. That was odd. And I wonder what was going on. Never mind. This is a game that is still only just being greenlit today. So I don't expect they're going to end up with it. You know, all the bugs ironed out just yet. Um... Always good to build with a little style as you go. Don't want to you know, just build for utilitarian purposes. We've got to have something that looks pretty. Can't be soaring around these strange alien skies and looking ugly. That's going to be horrendously balanced towards the back, isn't it? I'll put a few blocks on the front. Well, that, that's a bit too many. Uh, weight does seem to have a bit of an impact, so... Let me take that. <laughs> okay. Yeah, our steps are getting in the way. Clonk. That's not too bad, though. Now, we need to control and connect. Um, hmm. 
bit worried about this part, whether we'll get everything working right. Turning, if we try it like that and then test it. Yeah, let's try it like that and test it and see what happens. And where is that? Hang on. Did I not build? I, I think I didn't build. Oh, goodness me. Did I not put the joint in? I can believe it. Yeah. The only thing I'm also a little sad about is there's no way to undo. So if you do something really silly like that, you can't kind of freeze things off in a separate space. I suppose it does teach one to be a touch careful. No. Now what we need to do here is put this on the platform. Good. And while it's on the platform, everything will stay still. And that is very helpful for us. Good. Bonk. Yeah, I know, you're not connected. No, not like that. Come on. Let's get back here. Uh to Yes. Connect. Oh. Where are you? There's the ball. No, we'll turn you that way. Okay. So room. Whoop. If I press jump, they come out. Okay, okay. Whoa. <laughs> that's that's not very effective. And I've got a hole in the bottom of my spaceship too. Hmm. Okay, well, let's try again. Okay, let's fix that first of all. That. Get the platform out and plop it over here again. Okay. I think I'm gonna get rid of a bit of that. That looked a bit ugly there. Might look a bit nice with some of this though. Yeah. Whoa, that looks pretty cool. No, not like that, like that. What I was worrying about, which I didn't check, was whether or not steering did anything. Ooh. Steering. Oh, why is that one? <laughs> oh no. Okay, so there's some kind of there's a root, there's some kind of root object error here, which is causing problems. Uh, okay, okay, we'll start. Come on. Um, sit there and... Uh, yeah. Now. What is causing the problem exactly? Let's make sure everything... Why is that not... It's in the wrong place. Uh, right, come here. Okay, well, I'll fix them. We'll get them done. Ah, oh, strange. Okay, so if we put this like this, and then put that, why is it not? Okay, that also didn't really help, did it? Come on, up on the, no, no. Are we up there yet? Good. Now, let us prepare. Okay, so one. No, didn't like it. No. Doesn't mind that. Hmm. Maybe that... Maybe there's something to think about there. Okay, let's tear this one up. Okay, get out of here, you. Spare parts. Now, get rid of that one. I think if it does have the opportunity to attach to stuff, it will do it. And these corner ones, for example, do not. Maybe I'll do it. No. Interesting. Oh, it's because it's con. All ah, right, it's because it's connected to the, to the steering. But we want to reset that and make sure everything works properly. I think this time. Yep. 
And I quite like that little curve thing going on. Yep, you're dangling. Uh, where were we? What were you guys like? You were all right. And we cut the other one off. Okay, so we got one that's working. And what did we do with that precisely? Oh, come here. All right, yep, so directly attached on. Um, right, that one. And then, and then, okay, that's good. Excellent. All right, right, right. We're ready. We're ready to place this here so we can build on it. Okay, good. All right, now, now I'm feeling a bit more confident. One, two, and an engine. Perfect. And... One, two, and an engine. Looking rather cool, I reckon. Yeah, not too bad. One, two, engine. Will that be enough to take off? That is the question. What we don't have is... Hmm. Do I want to attach... How do I want to attach these to, to stuff? I'm thinking... All right, well, we do have to attach them. I guess we'll do that first. So steering to that one, steering to that one. And can I attach them directly to the... I think if I attach them to the engines, it will actually turn them on, which is good news. Let's find out. Whoa. Just happened. Why are you pointing that way? Oh, it almost worked. It kind of almost worked. That's what I'm sticking to. It kind of did. Um. Oh, you're hanging loose. Okay, so we have some problems here, and that is that we need to connect that to there. Oh, that that's feeling pretty good. So. Sorry, shouldn't hit jump. I keep thinking I can use jump to go up. But no, forward is gonna... Forward is gonna drive us back. We need a little bit more thrust at the front, because... <laughs> That's not really helping. Yeah. Oh, actually, one of those are back to front. Okay, it's the rear one on the... Did I get this right? Is that equally spaced? Is that? No, that is, isn't it? That's fine. So hang on. Uh, let me see. Right. The rear one on the left is the wrong way around. So let's fix that first of all. Um, rear one on the left. Turn around. Now let's try it. Just make sure it's right. Okay. No. No, that won't work. Um... Okay, that's confusing. You guys both need to go that way? Okay, okay, okay. Whoa. No. Oh, this is so confusing. And maybe that one. All right, all right, try now. <laughs> that's just... Uh... Okay, if I flip these two, they'll now be correct. I feel like I'm playing some adventure game door puzzle. All right, that's good. And we haven't even hit number one button yet. Bonk. All right, so it likes to fly upside down. Like, it's a upside down oriented craft. I'm not adverse to chucking on more power here. You reckon? I reckon that's gonna do the trick. What do you reckon? Oh yeah. Whoa, for a second there, I thought I heard someone creeping up on me or something. That would have been really strange. <laughs> because I haven't let anyone in the game. Must just be the late night getting to me. Calm yourself, Tony Pirate. This game is not haunted. Double front engines. Bonk. All right, here we go. <laughs> Are we out to... Oh, gosh, you have to attach it. Of course you do. Um, pick it up. 
put it down. No, get get down from there. What do you think you're doing? Yep. Turn on when I say. Turn on when I say. Okay. Now, with that out. It's the meteor sounding helicopter in the world with all those machine bangs. Wow. Okay, so now bit too heavy at the at the front. Um, sorry, a bit too much power at the front. Can we put on a bit more weight at the back? Yeah. Maybe some of my favorite little metal teeth pieces. Um Right, it might be that this isn't really the perfect solution. Let me just test. Hmm. So much power. What turns? And... <laughs> oh, that's terrible. That is just the pits, isn't it? Um, I'm just maybe, uh, maybe some kind of just a single downwards thruster at the back or something. Can't exactly put two back there. Oh no. Um, more weight is required here. I think I did it the wrong way around last time, didn't I? Go on, this way. We'll try it like this before we mess with the thrusters again. Look at that. Beautiful. Oh, getting there. <laughs> uh, not quite. Um, come on. Let me just, ah, uh, almost, come on, one more. There we go, a bit more weight at the front and then I think we'll be perfectly fine. All right, come on, this one. Don't fail me now, years of Kerbal Space Program experience. Ooh. Are we ready to hit, to press the big button? Oh. <laughs> it's pushing us through the grass. Oops, not that one. All right. Hmm. This is very tricky. This is very tricky indeed. Bit, still a bit nose heavy. If in doubt, more fancy parts. Bit more iron at the front. Yeah, that looks kind of pretty. Maybe some bracing iron across here. I don't know. Yeah, that looks that looks great. Just one the weight. Oh, almost, 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 we're almost there, people. Um. Ah, oh, yeah, that looks pretty cool. For a given value of cool, I suppose. Um. So don't really like that. That looks really terrible. No, I don't want to connect anything there. I don't want to risk it here, though. No, actually, maybe not. Maybe not. Maybe not. Um. Yeah, one on each side there. As long as the engines don't bash into it. Ooh. Uh, okay, that's not working. That is not working at all. Hmm. I can see this being a game where you spend... Oh, got to remove the seat. Quite a bit of time just getting balance and everything right on VTOL craft. At least the turning works fine. Now, if I hold down one, no. Whoa. No. 
Oh, so close. One more go. One more go, and then we'll play with the bat plane. Okay. Bat plane. What am I saying? Bat car. Here we go. Hold down forward and the one key to take the rear engines on. Oh. Bonk. Oh, one more. Maybe one more. I'm, I'm sort of convinced. I'm sort of convinced that if I got really good at the timing of it, I could get this down pat. So, um, let's, let's face this way. Okay. So, if we go... No. There we go. Mission success. All right, so we've messed around enough with the VTOL craft. Time to look out at the revised and fixed Tumblr Batmobile. It has many neat features, including an adorable little duck there. I'm going to call him George. And look, a button press opens the bat car. And then one turns on the radio. Two closes up the bat car. And three turns on the jets. And off we go. Woohoo! Okay, doesn't handle rough terrain very well. But, on the whole, pretty workable vehicle. Pretty pleased with it. Pretty heavy. Drags itself pretty low. But hey, it gets the job done. Maybe we'll turn the engine off at the back for now. Yeah, look at that. Pretty pleased with it. Not so pleased with that radio. Let's leave that off. Anyway, that's been a pretty fun bunch of building. Subscribe and you can catch me in the next episode where I'll take on another community challenge and I'll see what I can do about fixing the VTOL craft as well while we're at it. Until then, I've been Tiny Pirate. Good to have you along. Good night.